Hey everyone, Zach here. Just had a really long walk around this city and realized how grateful I am to be here. Because in England, where I'm from, <laughs> everything is so rigid. Everything is by the book. Everything is by law. Whereas here things are much more fluid here in Sicily. Things are much more loose. They let it hang out. They're friendly, approachable people, generally. And it's just beautiful. Um, in the past few days I've been here, I've actually experienced quite a culture shock. <laughs> and it's great. I feel that so often, many people will stay in their hometown and not really tread much further than that. And it's quite amazing the broadening of your consciousness that you can achieve through just setting sail. It's quite revolutionary as an individual to be able to do this. And I really just am really grateful for this. It's lovely. So, yeah, thank you Sicily for having me. <laughs> it's very nice. And as always, thank you for watching. I love meditating in churches because they're so quiet. You know, I said that <laughs> I'm not a big fan of cities and I can't really survive long in them. Well, I found this lovely park. <laughs> what better place to get some kind of natural fix? <laughs> it works, it works. Got this beautiful Mediterranean plant life. It's gorgeous don't really know what these are. They're beautiful though. So here we go. Gorgeous. I don't know what gorgeous is in Italian. Beautiful Sicilian nightlife. 
Busy, busy. And so, here I am on the road again. <laughs> I'm moving into a week long stay at an Airbnb. Uh, it's very strange being out of my comfort zone. So used to being living in one place, like fixed in one point. And there's a lot to be said for that. <laughs> there really is. Having that sense of security, knowing where you can fall back to, knowing where your own space is. <laughs> and with all of this comes a great need to surrender and be okay with not knowing where you're gonna be sleeping next week or next month. <laughs> having to plan ahead and that's okay because I know that all I need is to have trust in spirit in God in the most high <laughs> that so long as I continue to be of service to others so long as I continue to help others I will be supported, I will be looked after, because that is what God wants. God wants his children, all of his children, to be looked after. And so why not be a hand of God? <laughs> why not be a hand of the Most High of, of Spirit to be able to do that work, to look after your brothers and sisters on behalf of your mother and father? <laughs> that is service in all of the various forms that that comes in. <laughs> so yeah, there we go, that's where I'm at right now. Italy is beautiful, without a doubt. But I can feel a cooler climate calling me. <laughs> somewhere where the air, the air is more oxygenated, somewhere I can relax. Somewhere that's quiet. That's what I want. Anyway, ciao. And so here I am in my my new room for the week, and it's beautiful. I feel very safe. It's safe here. And there's a lovely garden. So. Lots of meditation on the cards for me. <laughs> oh. And it's quiet. <laughs> Which is exactly what I want. So here I am. I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Just being independent, free, in my own space, and just able to do this work. So just work, this means a lot. But I also realize these blessings that I've received this moment that I'm enjoying right now I have to give back I can't just keep this for myself I have to I have to help others because that is why I've been given this that is why I'm enjoying this it's based on the promise that I will serve and so I will. I will help people. And that fills me with joy. Infinite amounts of love to you all. Thank you.